everybody welcome back today i'm doing a specific video kind of of an overview of the 14 n 6u really quickly and this is more to tell you about the sales listing because this monitor that's been recently restored on the channel will be for sale on ebay i'm about to show you that listing right now first though i do need to let everybody everybody know that this is pretty much an exclusive sale only to the united states so i'm sorry about that but that is uh what We've got, with that limitation, there will be a link to the eBay uh, listing below, and I'll show you that too real quickly here. But first, I'm going to show you a little bit about this N6U series. So this is a pamphlet directly from Sony, and I just want to go through a couple of the highlights real quickly. This is a 500 TV line Sony Trinitron CRT with a stable color reproduction, beam current feedback circuitry. It does have on-screen menus in multiple languages, and it is in a four by three aspect ratio. The one I have for sale is this one, this 14 N 6U again. And just a couple more things here. It does have a four by three aspect ratio, and it also is switchable to 16 by nine if you wanted to do that for some reason. There is an RGB input with sync in the N6U series, so that's a good thing. And then there's a lot of controls you could still do, even though this one does have a particularly simple button design. And again, I will have a full video coming with the calibration and all that good stuff on this exact monitor. And then also I do already have a couple repair videos as well as the full restoration video already published up to this point. So, uh, again, some of the more important specifications, it uh, does allow for AC power between 100 to 240 volts, and it will do 50 and 60 hertz. So I, any of those power requirements can be met by this monitor. All you need is a power cable. This sale will include a regular standard power cable for NTSC. And then again, it accepts NTSC PAL, CCAM, NTSC 4x4, 3 and it is a 13 and 1 8 inch screen weighs roughly 33 pounds it does have a color temperature of d65 there are a few inputs for the monitor which you can see those right there and they will be in the video but you've got a line a which is for s video and b and c and mono audio and that b and c is for just video or composite in and then you can loop out either one of those signals through that and then line B is just a single in for audio and either switchable between Y slash C, which is S video or composite B and C. And then you've got B and C for RGB external sync with an audio input. And then there is a remote for this model. I don't have that remote, but if you did, you could hook it up through that mono uh, audio portion right there. And then the ACN is over here. So that's just what Sony has. Here is the uh, listing that you should be on the lookout for if you're interested and you qualify in the United States. It will have this Super Metroid picture first. I'm starting this off as an auction, and it will start at $50. And I have added a ton of value to this. Pickup will be available in Gallatin, Tennessee, or there will be a $100 FedEx ground uh, delivery, and I'll go into the details on that in just a second, but I do have a lot of details, a lot of good photos in here, uh, just the things that I have done to this monitor. As far as restoration is concerned, I replaced 57 electrolytic capacitors in the monitor with better capacitors. I actually installed a better deflection yoke, so the yoke assembly is a, an upgraded yoke, and it has been calibrated for geometry and it's ready to go out of the box again it comes with a power cable and let's talk about some of the other features on this because i wanted you to know the specific things about the n6u that it does support 240p and 480i video resolution and again we already talked about the inputs but it does not support anything over the 480i resolution and it does not support any kind of component input so neither of those resolutions over 480i or uh, anything in a component uh, video format will be so supported by this monitor. And I also need to let you know that the, there's something about this tube and these later N 
an L series, L2 series specifically, where there is some shadowing that shows up on the tube in like a gray background. And so if you're um, running with a something that shows a lot of jail bars already, they'll probably show up more pronounced on this monitor than they normally would. But it's not, it's just pretty much something that has to do with the tube. And it's pretty common throughout. There's a lot of notes on here. This one does have a replacement shell on the back for a 14NU. So just keep that in mind if you see it. Again, lots of details in here. As far as shipping information, pickup is available in Gallatin. If you do have to get shipping, I do ship these directly from FedEx office to a FedEx office location nearest to you. So it won't be going directly to your house. What happens is it goes directly to the FedEx office location and they will hold it there for five business days. That way you can go and pick it up. And I try to find one exactly that is closest to you so you don't have to worry about a long way away. So if you just want to check and make sure there's one near you, if there's not, just let me know and maybe we can work something out. But uh, that's where I can eliminate the chances for more damage to happen and it, it, it will uh, ultimately get there safer if FedEx holds it and they'll hold it for a few days and guarantee that it's delivered. Lastly, I do have a little bit of a video that I made of some footage here of this exact monitor and I'll talk a little bit more about, again, all the features I did. This thing has been uh, completely restored, completely cleaned up. And again, we've got the better deflection yoke on there. If you want to go back and watch some of those videos, you'll have an opportunity to do that before this sale ends. And again, it's a $50 starting point. And uh, again, replaced all the capacitors inside of here. And um, again, I also, I did have to use this replacement shell, but it does say 14N1U on it, but that does that's just because it's the exact same shell and format as the front. Now the casing is not in perfect condition, okay? There are a couple of tiny you know, scuffs and marks and especially some discoloration from things that have been uh, adhesives and things that have been attached to the sides and the top of the metal shell. But all in all, it works perfectly. It has a great screen. I don't think you'll find an N6U that is 14 inches really with a better picture. Here's some shots from our geometry settings. And I do have a full video going through in here where I've gone through the submenu and I've actually uh, gone in there and saved these settings. You know, it's been recapped and it's been recalibrated. I also went through, since it has a new yoke, I went through and adjusted all the convergence and then uh, recalked and re-siliconed the neck board as well as the convergence rings. So there's no chance in that moving. If you noticed uh, when it was open, there was no convergence strips inside on the tube right now. So all the convergence has been set from the yoke and it did not need the strips. So uh, just wanted to show some more test pattern here. This is again through RGB and 240p just so you could see the, um, you know, the colors are all there. Everything looks really nice. It's not a perfect screen, but it's a great starting monitor or smaller monitor if you're looking for a 14 inch. The button design is super simple to use and uh, very, very, you know, not, not really that complicated. I'm going to leave it going now with just a couple minutes of some 480i because 240p does look good on this. And I have some pictures in the listing of the 240p uh, pictures, you know, with some games and calibration settings and such. But 480i looks a lot better on this monitor than it would on, say, a higher line count. So I wanted to kind of show that with uh, this next segment has PlayStation 2 running through RGB SCART with sync and external sync. And then um, it's just Parappa the Rappa 2. Uh, so that's 480i coming through that setup into SCART, you know, out of the actual slim PlayStation 2. And that's it. And um, I'm going to let that go. But I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you, uh, you get, if you want to bid on that, you know, make sure you do that because the bid will end. And then all this, uh, you know, the, bid, the monitor will be gone. But it's going to be a great opportunity for somebody to get a good monitor that will last a long time because, again, it's been completely replaced. And uh, let's just have some fun and, and uh, get a chance to own a RetroTech restored monitor. And then let's go now and watch this Parappa the Rapper. <laughs>